there is no law. And to date, nobody has been able to show that there is a law for the average American citizen working day in and day out to pay an income tax. But we the People Foundation for Constitutional Education put a full page ad in the USA Today on July 7, 2000. And within the body of that ad was a $50,000 challenge for anyone that could show the law. And to me, $50,000 is a lot of money. So I went after that and did the research based on the fact that I thought, let's put this baby to bed. I'm hearing all these rumors. You know, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. I'll answer these people's questions that are asking me. And then I'll win this $50,000. And, you know, based on the research that I did throughout the year 2000 and that I'm still doing, I have not found that law. I've asked uh, Congress. We've asked a lot of people in the IRS, the IRS commissioners, helpers. They can't answer because if they answer, the American people are going to know that this whole thing is a fraud. There is no law. There is no law that requires the average American worker in the private sector to pay a direct unapportioned tax on their labor and compensation for services. There is no law. I really expected that, of course, there's a law that you can point to in the law book, the code, that requires you to file a tax return. Of course there is. I mean, I don't know what it is right then as, we, as he was speaking to me, but sure. So naively, I agreed to go off and research it and get back to him. Three and a half months later, I was at that point where I couldn't find the statute that clearly made a person liable, uh, at least not me and uh, most people I know. And I had no, no choice in my mind except to, to resign. I had to leave the IRS because I presented uh, evidence that I had accumulated indicating that the agency was violating the law and violating people's rights. And I asked the agency for a response to my sincere concerns. And the answer I got was that they would not respond to my concerns and that they would uh, provide me with the paperwork necessary to tender my resignation. You can look through the statutes and look for the law that requires you to pay. And when you do that, you can't identify a law that requires the average person in America who earns a wage and works in private business to pay an income tax. American citizens, along with the foundation, have been asking the IRS to specifically provide them with the, the underlying legal foundation upon which they administer and enforce the personal income tax laws in our country. At the national level, when people would attempt to contact somebody of a much higher authority, say the, cons uh, the commissioner, same kind of thing. Uh, they, wouldn't get, they would get answers that were, in effect, non-answers. You have to understand that an agency which will unlawfully impose a tax that doesn't exist is not going to care if we, the people, don't know what our rights are, they're not going to tell us. If Americans just learned that the IRS was actually knowingly deceiving them, that that, enough, that would be enough for them to rise up and put a stop to it. 100% of what is collected is absorbed solely by interest on the federal debt. All individual income tax revenues are gone before one nickel is spent on the services taxpayers expect from government. People have been told, you know, that you need this income tax system to fund government, which is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, my question is, well, if that's true, how did we fund government from 1776 to 1913? The main purpose of the income tax is not to raise revenue, but to redistribute wealth and to control society. And a lot of people might say, well, gee, if there wasn't an income tax, what would happen to education? They don't understand uh, that education is paid for, for the most part, out of state and local taxes, your property tax. People might say, well, how are we going to build and maintain our highways? If there's no money coming in to the government, we need our highways. There is a tax on every gallon of gasoline that people buy. Proceeds from the income tax do not pay for highway construction. I believe that in both spirit and substance, our tax system has come to be un-American. Death and taxes may be inevitable, but unjust taxes are not. This small booklet includes the Constitution of the United States, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence. This is a document that every citizen should read. It's a document which freed an entire nation. This is the Internal Revenue Code, and this document and it, the unlawful application of this document by the Internal Revenue Service has enslaved the nation that this document 
attempted to free.